Hey guys, you here, back with another video, and as you can tell, and are you maybe already know, uh, I'm covering today uh, the statement made by vivisected human, vivisected human, very hard to say very quickly, uh, or V for short. Uh, so I want to um, correct something that I did earlier. Uh, in my interview with Outset, I referred to V as she, uh, but I did not know that. Uh, v is actually a trans man. And actually uses male pronouns. So um, that was just my mistake. I was just catching on to what Outset was saying. So uh, I, did, I was not aware. So I uh, made that correction there as well for the rest of my time if I ever mention uh, V at all. So, um, anyways, so let's go uh, to the actual uh, blog post itself. So we just go here. Boom, boom. So we can see here this is the. Uh, official statement from former artist and actor uh, for the team. Uh, I don't recall what uh, role uh, he had uh, for at least the, the acting role. I know that they were all an artist for sure. Uh, so they just want to start off with a statement. They just want everything good for the project. Uh, he says that, yes, this a human wants to talk about <clears throat> uh, things here about doxing. So the first thing um, he wanted to know was that there was uh, that doxing um, statement that was made uh, was rectified. Um, he was the one that actually uh, originally made that claim that they were doxing someone, uh, but they found out that the address was false. So it's not a real person. I'm still concerned about the name, but that's uh, that at least that's past them. Uh, but the email address apparently is a real one. Uh, I can't really talk about that. So this is just uh, showing that um, he was actually part of the team. When you scroll in, oh, that's a little too scrolled in there. Uh, we can see this is uh, a message saying that they were part of the official cast list. You can see his name right here, uh, female senpai. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, I should have read through that a little bit more uh, carefully, but uh, he played the role of vivisected human. And uh, uh, so here, when you scroll in a little bit here, female senpai is, uh, is now vivisected human. So there we go. So that's some proof right there, especially Roman. Uh, being a um, former manager of uh, the Love Letter team. And I just want to quick, quickly uh, say a statement because I did say earlier in my uh, last video uh, that it seems like the team is moving forward in hopefully a good direction. I hope the best for that because um, that's the one thing they needed was some creative director, uh, someone to actually lead the charge uh, that se seems to be more responsible <clears throat> because, again, it seems the responsibilities of being a leader or manager uh, of the current team, they're not as strong as they uh, need to be. And that that's, comes actually a lot later with um, the statement uh, from Ludwig. So, so this is his general statement here. Um, <clears throat> he has his story on the not safe for work content here. And uh, he mentions that the server lines, uh, so what he says about the not safe for work content does line up uh, with um, what was said earlier. Uh, now, Calixta mentioned by outset before, intervened with about not safe for work content. So if we scroll down a little bit down here. Uh, actually, no, it should be up here. Uh, no, it's B. Cal. Oh, wrong document. Cal. Lix. There we go. So uh, they say here, let's see, da, 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 he says, that um, shortly after they were talking about not super for work content, uh, Calixta then became very adamant about um, not talking about that kind of content. Um, so um, that's kind of where this aggression uh, to Stan Pai kind of started. Uh, he did make a video, I'm quite aware of it. Uh, I've not been able to I should take a look at that as well. I, I am curious what he has to say, uh, but you know you can check that video on your own time. Uh, I don't need to be reporting on it. It's, it's own, his, his own statements uh, can easily be uh, talked about as well. Uh, B and uh, V went, wanted to defend Stampy. Um, we can see right about here uh, to issue brought up with minors. And then uh, B was not taking to the injustice. We can see that there. Uh, so that's very important that they do, it seems like, again, their statements are lining up quite well. Um, I mean, of course, they're working together. Uh, but Calixta, I do know, was someone that Outset was close to as well <clears throat> and was a moderator for um, B 
and uh, no, me. She was a moderator for Outset and uh, former artist Chore Cake. There we go. That was that was who I was looking for. Uh, so the respect. So the respect issues V had with some people, uh, because some people is that they knew short key used they them pronouns. So this is actually kind of important. I just want to scroll down uh, right around here. Uh, some of the one of the bigger issues um, that um, the this V had was that apparently the, every server member was aware that short key used they them pronouns, uh, as well as um, he took some issue, of course, with when Shortcake referred to uh, V as uh, she. So there's that. There's also mocking fan art. Uh, something quick I did forget because I went up here was there was not safe for content. We can tell through this screenshot uh, that Roman ch changed the name to something not so appropriate. I think uh, we can establish the professionalism uh, was not there for this kind of project. Seemed like there was a lot more focus on hanging out, which I'm not saying you can't hang out in you know in a server with people, uh, but it seems like it wasn't as much for work than more for play, uh, having uh, people there together. And so we can scroll down here. Uh, this was a piece of fan art that has been um, censored by V. Uh, we can see here that um, apparently uh, the members here were making fun of the character, the, the fan art that was drawn. Uh, it's unfortunate. Now, V took a lot of uh, issue with this, especially as an artist himself. Uh, so I can actually understand that there's some sympathy uh, in that direction here. They kept enlarging the head. And uh, Roman made a very inappropriate statement here. I bet she gives a good head again. Eh. I, it, I understand that, it, that there was uh, not so much content, but there's also jokes that maybe have been taken over, uh, you know, taken in a different way than people expect. There was no basis of understanding of what was appropriate to make jokes of or not. So that's part of the issues here. And that's why uh, V had took part of that is that, again, V is an artist and he has sympathies for artists because it takes time to make stuff. And I know that I've, uh, watched an artist actually draw stuff. My mascot, actually, I was on the stream for uh, Mia Draws Art when um, they were drawing my uh, character, and it took time. So um, it is a bit of a blow for someone to be making fun of your piece of artwork. And then oh, we have some f uh, last four uh, screenshots. Let's see, was it the doxing? Yes, so we already established that about the doxing. Uh, he's very defensive about... Uh, you know, doxing, especially if it's a 10 year old. Uh, I don't know if he's comfortable with me saying this, but um, he's actually, no, he is, as I have screenshots of him telling me I can say what he said, uh, repeating what he said in my call as well, that he is someone who has work, does work with children often. Uh, so um, he has a lot of problems when someone is uh, making fun of or, you know, doxing children, if it were actually. And they made a copy pasta. He didn't obviously like that. He has this screenshot right here about that. And then um, making a joke of doxing, yes. So this uh, last four here that we have for screenshots, it proves uh, that V uh, gives off, like the joke, sorry, last screenshot of, that V provides give off a very bad tone. Uh, so if we go to these screenshots here, it, these are not a good kind of look for some uh, members. Um, so... It, this is kind of in response to V not liking the jokes and Roman um, sent a screenshot of like server settings and then like highlighted the leave server button. Um, so it looks like he was taking a bit more of an aggressive stance about like not liking the joke. Again, it seems like no one established what was appropriate or not uh, to be talking about jokes. And <clears throat> uh, so... Uh, we can also see that like Outset's trying to say that they are aware that the serum content with B and Stanpi. Um, and if we go to the next one here, what conclusions? I'm not sure exactly what that's in context about. Um, but uh, th there is a problem that seems like the, the again, this is a feeling I'm getting from it too. Outset was kind of seals a friend maybe by. Uh, V's um, relationship with um, 
be still, I'm not sure. Uh, and then the final one here, uh, again, aggressive tones, and then they don't, they seem a little aggressive, but it's like, if you don't like it here, you should leave. Eww. Again, it's not a great look. Um, I would love to hear um, from anyone involved in this chat again. Uh, unfortunately, right now, um, the um, Love Letter team, uh, whoever's involved right now, uh, including uh, John, uh, as far as I know, <clears throat> they've uh, been all told to go radio silent uh, for uh, whatever reason. I can't say what. My speculations are many things. Um, one that I really hope is true is that it's similar to the case of um, No Man's Sky, where they went radio silent, just work on their game, and you know I can appreciate that if that's the case. I would really, I really hope uh, that is uh, the reason for that. So uh, further on, this is kind of the end of the statement. It's a little bit of a shorter one. Uh, I was actually able to uh, be in a voice chat with uh, V uh, himself because he uh, was nervous about you know my statements and how I'm going to represent him. So it was good. This is kind of where I was able to actually learn about his pronouns, which is really great. I mean, I will respect anyone's pronouns if they just politely ask me, "Hey, I'm I would prefer these pronouns be used in reference to me." It's easy as hell to do that. I don't, I just, yeah, it's just polite. It just should be easy. So if you ask me politely, that's easy. If you're being aggressive, of course, uh, mm, I might not like it. So, uh, I mean, it, most people are pretty polite about that kind of thing from what I've met uh, so far. So anyways, uh, there's a lot going to be a lot about my face here. There's not going to be a lot of proof that I can really provide you since it was a voice call. Uh, so if you want to just put me aside for now, I can just speak my mind uh, about stuff that I've learned from V. So, um, <clears throat> uh, this is where I learned from, yep, so, um, V felt very disrespected, I already said that. Uh, so an overall feeling I got from the issues of the treatment of volunteers uh, stems from a lack of professionalism. It seems like, uh, even with my uh, chat with uh, various other people, it seems like because there was no formal agreement of how things work, uh, like, you know, NDAs or um, agreements on, like, who actually owns what character. Um, so I can agree uh, with uh, V because later we, I actually asked uh, him about like, hmm, okay, what kind of copyright like can we really talk about here with uh, regards to my statement about how I understood, oh, if this character is owned by um, Shortcake, they created the character first and then was able to be used in the uh, project. But there was no strict documentation uh, saying that the ownership uh, is to uh, the project. So that's unfortunate there. That's why there's a lack of professionalism, I say. Um, they, let's see, da, 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 da. V also mentioned Dawson was mostly about sympathies towards shortcake and bringing, ah, so whenever he mentioned doxing, it was more about sympathies, and I think a lot of the uh, server was just saying, you know, voicing their sympathies towards Shortcake and how they were doxxed in the past. I don't know the time frame for that, though. Um, I asked him about the raid on uh, Cameron um, in the screenshot. If you saw the screenshot, uh, V is prominently in there. I can actually bring it up. Uh, but uh, V is very prominently in uh, the screenshot saying something seemingly quite negative. Um, so let me just bring that screenshot up for you guys should be right here and there we go that's the one I need yep boom so we can see here oh not that it should be in the next one though uh, da, da, da. there we go so we can see clearly here uh, V says ratio his ass um, he's told me that that was actually in a joke uh, term uh, and so people took it the way uh, very differently, so I just like didn't come in very. So again, people he, he thought people were joking. He got very serious about it, and um, he's shown me that he actually has apologized uh, to um, Cameron himself. So actually, I can bring that up right now. Ah, there we are. Uh, no, that's not the screenshot at all. <laughs> my bad. Uh, so I'm sorry. I got a. Uh, that was my bad. I forgot that uh, he showed me a, a, a screen share of his uh, chat with. Uh, Cameron. So that was my bad. Um, I apologize. That was uh, very wrong. But anyways, we can move on. Uh, 
So he also revealed to me that the VA server, at least voice acting server, there were no rules except for a uh, no drama, which uh, we both definitely agreed there was, it was quite a broad rule. Uh, so um, it's unfortunate. There were no, again, prof- professionalism. There were no strict guidelines or deadlines for submitting lines for the project. So it's, ooh. Again, that goes back to like actually working on the project, motivation for the project, um, pushing it along. So uh, that's kind of the end issue that I can say we see. Uh, so we also discussed the issue of Bo Chan, yes. Uh, and I questioned about Roman and how young he was, because as I recall, he was 16 at the time when he was promoted to a manager. He was just as confused as I was about how someone's so young. I'm not saying someone can be 16 and manage people, but... Um, we kind of agreed that if a project like this is kind of a a mature, if you know, kind of think of what kind of contents will be planned into it, it's quite a mature rated product. So uh, we agreed, yeah, someone of that age maybe shouldn't be working on that kind of project if you know the game is not rated for his audience. Um, but yeah, that's a kind of a, a quick little thing. Uh, my call with uh, V, as well as his statement on the. Uh, confessions blog. Uh, I hope to finish up the other two today, or three actually. There's three more. I'm still trying to catch up. Uh, next up should be from Kibby, and I'll see you guys in that one. Check out my other stuff over here. Uh, that is the playlist for all of everything uh, that I've done so far with uh, Confessions and the Love Letter uh, team. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Boop!